Shalom. Shalom. I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Apostles, the Apostles, and the Lord of Great Millstone and Real Well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that push us through in sincerity. Yeah. There's Yaraba. There's Ayodash. I'm in Trinidad Camp, you know. So they go through some precepts pertaining to hardship because. Really and truly, you had to go through hardship in this truth. You can't expect everything to be nice all the time. You understand? Yeah. You know, some 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 people in church is like, ah, who is good at church and so forth. They even they even like to look at um like prosperity. And they talk about so what so what about people like Job and Abraham? They had it nice. They were rich and they used to be living comfortable. But really and truly, there is not that kind of times. Yeah. You understand? So there's um there's Ecclesiastes three verse one, right? It said to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, right? To say a time a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, and digest examples. You'll see like, the we even ask the Messiah, say, why it is your servants go fast? You can you explain to them, there is not a time for them to do it. You understand? When he leave, will be that time for them to do it. Yeah. And you'll even see like now, the time for we to be rich and comfortable, just like how Israel was back in those days. This is not our time. Is the time that we had to go through hardship. You understand? For when the time of the kingdom reach, we will, we will get our comfort we want. Can. Um, just, just to say, because it's the time to sigh and cry. Can. You know? The, the, the scriptures talk about the latter days. And we live in, in the latter days. And, and there's nothing nice in this time. Unless you're Esau. But Esau so have it nice in this time. Um, I'll preserve the, the, the Surah chapter 2 verse 1. He said, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Can. And verse 2, he says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. So endure what? You know, not in, in endure prosperity, but endure hardship. Can. Yeah, yes. son. I said temptation. Temptation is something like a type of hardship you'll go through. Because if somebody being tempted, you're being tempted with something you actually want that you're not supposed to have. Yeah. You understand? It's true. Trying to tempt you into something you're not supposed to be doing. You understand? Because he, he wouldn't tempt you with something that lawful. <laughs> you understand? He would tempt you with something wicked or not expedient for yourself. And that's the only thing in this truth. You always, you always have to, you always be, be child. You know, even harder than before. Can. If you think things was tough before, they come in the street. You gonna get a lot more harder. You know, so that that is something you have to prepare yourself for. If you really want to serve the Lord. And wait, when you also think about it, they could be tougher also because you actually know right from wrong. Yeah. And I talk about our servant who actually know his master's will and did not according to it. So you have more affliction to go through actually knowing the correct thing. Yeah. Otherwise, like the somebody who do know and just be in ignorance. It's I'm going to read that scripture here. First Peter. Yeah, I'm going to read First Peter 2, verse, verse 21, right? It say, For even hereunto were ye called, right? It say, Because Mashiach also suffered for us. You understand? Because oh. even he wasn't a exempted from that suffering. Everybody had to suffer or go through some kind of hardship. This part of how it is we'll actually earn 
the rewards that we go and receive as we hopefully like. You understand? Right. As Ma Mashayak also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. That way scriptures talk about bearing your cross. And bearing your cross go back to hardship. No, not all brothers will go through the same hardship. And not all brothers will, will go through as much hardship as another. Because they go have brothers who wouldn't go through um, as much hardship as Mashiach. You understand? They might go through less, but they still had to bear that cross, however it might come. Just mm -hmm. like all the scriptures say, you know, you might have a turn, like your family might be turned against you. That might not happen to all brothers. But if that is your lot, you had to bear that cross. You understand? Some brothers might have plenty of money, but it might go through a different type of tribulation. And some might have a little money, and they wouldn't go through different tribulations like the one who have plenty of money going through. Everyone will vary, but you still had to go through that hardship. Because you hear how shine suffer, you know, um, this is Matthew um, chapter 16, verse 21. He said, From that time forth began your house to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Can so, and good. Yeah, so even your Shia not suffered. You know, your shy had a coma the same way. And that is to show you how the new scriptures say that he spared even not his only begotten son. You understand? So that is to show you if, if everybody has had a pay for the things that they do. And it's not like the Mosai and just to cause it to suffer for no reason because half of the things you will be suffering for is things that you actually committed. Whether it be things while you're in the truth or things even before you come in the truth. You understand? All these things is the punishment for things that you already did. But if there's a man who are understanding, you'll know that you have to bear with it. All the scriptures say, I will bear his indignation because I have sinned against him. So it's not like he will just do these things for no reason. The Mosai know why it is he will do it, how he will do it, and how much. You understand? Everything has a reason. You might be offended because you know it happening to you. <laughs> but overall, it has a reason for it. You understand? All these things are in the scriptures, and the scriptures must be fulfilled. Come. I have a, I have a precept here. There is um, Acts 14, verse 22, right? It says, Confirming the souls of the disciples, right? And exhorting them to continue in the faith, because that is something you're always supposed to be doing. Just in scripture, you just read it um, about the, what the ones you talk about not weeping, because they know the enemy of the gospel. You're not supposed to come into the truth and then come back out. You're supposed to continue in the faith. Come. You understand? Right. Continue in the faith, and that we much. We must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it's not something you will just be walking into and, you know, going through everything nice. And that suffering is just minor now, while we still have internet. And, you know, brothers, still have phones and cars. Just to when Jacob's trouble start, you wouldn't have none of these things. You understand? So you're supposed to be using this little hardship you're going through right now to prepare your mind for the kind of hardship you'll be going through when that time come. Come. Because that's some brothers who might even have to lose their life. And you really have to condition yourself in the shit. Gang. So you gotta watch you gotta watch this little hardship again as you know, as condition and as I say. If, if even that way the um the apostles say, you know, not to eat or drink certain things. You know, exercise. Take care of your body because in that time they is really they they be pain yeah. Can they be pain yeah, for that time. And they'll go even tell her, like, you know, learn to fast. Because fasting yeah. is only good for your spirit. You understand? To build it, to build your spirit up and to get a connection with the most high. But when that time comes, you go, yeah, so yeah. know how you go feel to go out there without food. Yeah. You understand? You got to learn to condition your spirit and condition your mind to be normal with these things. And that's why you also have to work towards your faith and your works also. So when that time does come, the most high will show you mercy. Um, so you wouldn't have it as bad as everybody else. You understand? But it wouldn't be a walk in the park. 
You understand? It's so hard that only the elect will survive. Gun. Let's show you how hard it will be. And it's, it, it come like um, like you go in charge training Gun. for the military. Gun. Because in that time, the, the average jig on the street will be able to go a day or two without food. And you know how niggas does be, you know, them little neglects on them. Yeah. When, <laughs> when, when them neglects in, eat a day, you know, they just go and they yeah, understand yeah, like yeah. some raven and wolves. <laughs> you know, there's be. You understand? But you, as I say, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability yeah, of your time. Yeah. You wouldn't be like them or in that same mindset. You could be more headstrong because you know what's going on. You wouldn't be clueless. They will already have the practice to know A. Hey, kind of hardship you have to go through while yours in the truth. This come like a normal day to you. You understand? Yes, that's how you gotta, that's how you gotta watch it. You know, like, you know, like, like sometimes you'll be talking to a woman and you'll be trying to tell she certain things and she wouldn't be able to see the bright side of it. She would only want to see the fact that this happened and that happened, but she wouldn't watch the overall picture. But as a mom would understand, then you will know to watch the overall picture. It's true, it might be a little tough for you. It will be hard to go through, but you gotta watch the overall picture. Done. Because you, you're being prepared for something. And the scriptures also say that this is compared to nothing compared to what you're going to receive. You understand? So you come like a small investment. You understand? You come like a small investment. You will, you will frust- things will frustrate you sometimes, all as a part of the tribulation. But it come like a small investment for something way better that you'll have to receive just now. I'm a very soon. <laughs> I'm really fed up at his place. <laughs> really fed up at his place. I'm a ratazza, hopefully it'll be soon. Mm-hmm. You know? And, and just a, a perfect example is, is just the bodeg. Can. Because we suffer every day Can. in this bodeg. Truth in Pumatis. Hardship to work, um, you know, to slavery. The spirit making intercession right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what we were heard, that's celestial. God. Uh, so, so that is just yeah. so I have a, a precept here. Um, hmm. This is. Yeah, Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 6. He said, And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, Can. which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or whether we be comforted, it is, in, it is for your consolation and salvation. So, even the apostles and all before, they, they suffer, uh, same as the Oshai. And it don't do stop with them. It didn't stop with them. Right? When you come into this truth, when you come to serve your Hashem and Hashem, there will be a lot of suffering. Can. You will be tested. You will be tried. And it, will, and it will be even harder for you because you know why it happened to you. Can. <laughs> because <laughs> even being in this truth, right? when you see certain things, you, you know it, it, it pee in you. It really pee in you to be, to be tough. To be a man, can right? It is only when you when you going through hardship, right? Plus, like to test your faith, can because going through hardship, it has test your faith, can because just like you see, like them Christians and them is when they go to the most high for prosperity, can and not for the sake of serving him. Going through hardship supposed to build your faith. Oh. And the scripture also talk about they that have seen no miracles but believe. You understand? But the wicked generation seek a sign. <laughs> that way as really had to give double honors to the men who was before you. Can. Because really and truly, if you look at the kind of years them men going through hardship and affliction, some of them get arrested, some of them doing all kind of different things, but they're still enjoying even to this day. And it's through them, well, the most I use them to actually help us to, to reach where we is right now because we wouldn't have our knowledge if they was not wrong. You understand? 
Yes, you're ready. I'll get double or else to them then. Uh, next, um, and next, um, and next, 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 for this cause I obtain mercy, yeah. that in me, first Yahweh Shai might show forth all long suffering yeah. for a pattern to them which should, which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Yeah. Right? So it was a pattern. It was a pattern starting with Yahweh Shai of, of the thing that we will be going through. Okay. And the guy from my scripture say, be followers of me as I am of Mashiach, you understand? So the same way he had to suffer just like Mashiach, we have to suffer just like Mashiach also. And and just to stay because you are shy when two worse than you went two worse than what we went to now. Yeah. Most of the prophets back in the days, because some of them was burned to death, some had the tongue cut out. Yeah. But even 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 coming up, right? Like Jacob Chapel and thing and say this the scripture say the scripture say it um it had no other deal like it. It um, wouldn't be no other deal like it. Can so which mean by <laughs> worse than seventy eighty. It will be worse than seventy eighty. So that's why you're going to go through the hardship now. You yeah. understand? Because when that time comes, I have a scripture here. It says, um, John 16, I'll start from 1, right? It says, These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be offended. Because the scriptures talk about, like in Mark 4, about um, the other one's stony ground. You understand? And, well, the parable and so forth. When we talk about the men who get offended for the word's sake, when affliction and persecution arrive, and really and truly, you're supposed to. Strengthen yourself so when affliction and persecution does come, it will be easier for you to deal with because mm. you've already been grounded and had the understanding. So in verse 2, it say, They shall put you out of their synagogues, yea, the time cometh that whoever that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth the most high service. Yeah. You understand? So they're going to be watching you as so wicked that they want to kill you and think they're doing a good. In verse 3, it say, and these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father, nor me. Mm. So, as he say, he tells these things are for time. So that when these things does come, we will understand why it happened. Mm. And even, even mm. as the scripture say, or shall I say, you know, um, if they hate you, they hated me first. Can you? <laughs> so they say, but not the eternal Lord. You know, so, so, and this is the generation. The generation. So they, they hate him. The Messiah worse. Because he he came to set things to set things are right. Because he, even the um even um some in the in the like priests and the elders that Israel was going off. So when Yahweh Shai came and was setting things alright, they hated him. Can, because they, 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 didn't, they didn't want a king over them. And they not a righteous king, they wanted Caesar. <laughs> you understand? They say that no king but Caesar. Right? But all this is like just precepts to show you that when you, when you do go through hardship, the scriptures talk about that. That wasn't... Um, Huh? Yeah, I don't forget. I suppose Peter. I Peter. First Peter two verse. Hmm. Oh, this second Peter. Hmm. So actually, Peter. 
I read First Peter one. First Peter one. I'll start from six, right? They say, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a short, sorry, though now Salakia for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through through our manifold temptations, right? They say that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish it, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearance of your Shai Mashiach. So that is to show you that even scriptures tell you so many times that you want to go through tribulation. That's why it also say faith comes by hearing the word. So mm -hmm. when you're reading these things, you'll actually be able to renew your spirit and remind yourself that hey all these things must come to pass um, you understand but even like certain certain times where uh, and cut and field you know and and it's like it's like deja vu <laughs> you know it's like you, you see where it is plain up in front of your eyes Can you I see it before i get that a few times it is plain up in front of you, you see it before. So you don't get any more questions? Yeah, there is a um, the um, first Peter four verse twelve, right? It say, "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you." Because when a man going through hardship, if he don't understand it, he could be like, "Why all this happening to me?" You understand? But the scriptures say, "Satan had desire to have you." That he might sift you like wheat. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just like how he do to Job. Sometimes he might try to do you the same thing. It might not be as bad. But he'll be trying to get to you the same way. Because he have a job to do. <laughs> you understand? He have a job. And part of his job is with that. With that. With that, with that, that scythe. Trying to. Trying to sift men. Right? They say but rejoice. in as much. As ye are partakers of Mashiach's suffering. Say yeah, rejoice. Say rejoice. This is um Surah chapter two, verse four. You say whatsoever is brought upon thee, take, take cheerfully, Can. and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For verse five, you say for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the fullness of adversity. Can. So that is sure. Not to say like when when. Like say if you lose your wife or your family, you go jump up and, and be like, yeah, you, know, you, won't be, you won't be excited about it, but you know it could be hard because you're in the flesh. But you go also understand that hey, all these things happen in far reason. Can. All of these things is sure that the most I working with you. Because really and truly, if you're a man of the most and everything just going nice for you all the time. You go wonder, you know, like I, 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 I saw, if I wanted that, you saw, see? <laughs> you understand? That one, let's say, um, just now, eh? Let's see. Let's see back up. That's not really, that's what I mean to say. Yeah, go ahead. Um, first Peter 4, 13, right? They say, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also with exceeding joy, because you also went through the hardship. You understand? You will have partaker in his suffering. So when the time comes that he receives his kingdom, you'll be a partaker in rewards also. You understand? You can't expect to have it nice here and have it nice there. The scriptures say, Won't you that are rich, 
to you have received the consolation. Mm -hmm. You understand? That is where you're going through the hardship now. He went through hardship and you're going through hardship. So when that time comes that he had peace, you will also be at peace. Um, this is Peter 3, 17 and say, For it is better if the will of power be so that he suffer for well doing Can. than for evil doing. Can. And that is it, because really and truly, how the scriptures say, I have nothing that before you had not come unto man. Can. You understand? So everybody is going to suffer. It's better off you suffer by being righteous than to suffer by being wicked. Can. You understand? And that suffering is, is, is being against is being against this world. Yeah. Being against this wicked kingdom. You know, um it's have a lot of things that when they come in they shoot you have to give up. Can. And that by itself is suffering. And that by itself is suffering. Yeah, you have to give up something that you like. You must have something in each world that you like when you come in and shoot you have to give it up. You understand? And I also go back to to ordinance prophecy because scriptures talk about the men that sigh and cry. Right. If, if everything was nice for you, what are you crying for? <laughs> you could be crying for. <laughs> it had to be hard for you. It had to be not enjoyable. And it's always come about in a way that even if you're a girl, ease up, you will always have something that will come around to get you upset in this world. The girl is not supposed to like you. You understand? You're not supposed to be connected to you. He don't want his men connected to this place. He want them to want to leave, <laughs> to continue pray for this place to end. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> suffering hard, suffering is how it had to be. Any mm -hmm. more precepts? No, that is my day. Are you there? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I hope this video was pretty fine. You know, for the brothers. You know, that is the shadow one. You know, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone that we will, salutation to the Akyams out there, you know, that push in this world in all truth and sincerity, you know, and wasting their lives on the highways and byways, Can. you know, for this world. You know, we like to say, uh, Shalom Brachita. Shalom Brachita. Try and stay strong, brothers. Try and, try and keep pushing, really. And try to get yourself in order. Can because because things now going to get easier. They go and get tougher. Can. You know, so shalom. Yeah. Shalom.